All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been busy, haven't uploaded as much to this channel as I want to, but uh, we're going to get back into it. So I want to go over something I just bought. I kind of invested in a camera just to make my life easier. So today we're going to talk about the newest action cam from uh, DJI. This is the uh, Action 4, so you can see there very uh similar to the last one and this is how i have mine set up right now and you you know one of the coolest things is i haven't used this in over a week uh it's been sitting there because i've been busy with work obviously it's the summertime i do uh hvacr and uh if you guys didn't know i do have another channel reliable a reliable hvacr uh there's podcast work videos all that kind of stuff where i need an action camera to kind of document the work. So if I turn this thing on, first of all, you're gonna see how quickly it turns on. And then uh, if I click there, it's 100%. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but it is at 100%. So not only does this thing turn on and off really quick, it has some really cool features on it, and I'll show you exactly what I do and don't like, you know, the pros and cons of getting an action camera. Obviously, like I said, this is something I can kind of put on or set up on a tripod and go to work and not worry about it. But the fact that I have not used this and it's still at 100% is mind blowing because let me tell you, I used or I bought a GoPro. Now I bought an older one just because they were on sale. But from what I've heard, they still have the same issues. So. I was going to go for the Action 3, but then I heard uh, that the uh, refresh was due, and this is in uh, August, so I waited a little bit, and sure enough, it came out right away, and uh, I got to tell you guys, I love this thing. So if we uh, take it out of the cage real quick, this is what the unit uh, looks like. It's super small, so if you're uh, filming, you know, just make sure to keep your hand away from this side of the lens because it will pick up your fingers. But super wide, uh, wide angle view. What do you expect from an action camera? Uh, the microphone is actually really nice on this thing. Now, if it's crazy windy, like here, it's been uh, picking up because of the whole hurricane season and all the storms that we're getting. So. Uh, you do want to hook up a mic to it, which I do have the DJI microphone set up right here. And I'll go over that in another video, but using it as a external mic on this, on my phone, because I do record most of my stuff on my phone and on my podcast uh, with the computer. So very versatile. So DJI also does not require you to buy anything externally. Or, or as an adapter to hook up a mic. This uh, connection, this USB-C connection right there, lets you plug in an external mic. Theirs works perfectly with it. Obviously, it's it's brand in, uh, within brand. You can use their brand of mic, and it's going to work flawless. You just plug it into the side, the receiver, use your wireless mic, and uh, you get awesome audio. So I came from an action cam, which was the Instago 360, and I hardly used it, but it was really good when I needed to go hands-free. This is something that I could, it's magnetic, so I could put it on my chest with the mount. I could put it on my hat pretty easily. You, you could mount it sideways, and it would still record because um, it had that horizon lock. Um, but this only gave you like 15 minutes or so of, of recording time at a time. Uh, you could recharge it a few times with the case and, uh, you know, soon, sooner than later, you'd have to recharge this because the, the battery is not great on it. So when I was looking for a, an action camera, I went for this one because this one was rated higher as far as battery life. Like I said, this thing won't die just for me not using it. The GoPro after a few days would be dead. Um, and then... It doesn't overheat like the GoPro does, which the GoPro, I, I couldn't use it sometimes. Uh, I wish I had it, but I returned it, obviously. And, uh, you know, these these are great batteries. They don't overheat. They will last you. I went out and recorded. I've recorded so much with this. I've recorded 
couple hours of uh, footage now on and off right i would turn it on for a few minutes turn it off for a few minutes because i would have to move on to the next thing but you know after a day's use of this thing i still had 70 percent so you know after a couple calls this thing will last me and if you buy their combo pack you get three batteries which that in itself is worth the extra money and the mounting system right like uh gopro has those thumb screws i don't think i have there, theirs does too i have the dji hooked up to this which mounts around my neck but on the on the gopro the actual feet are attached to the you know the camera right so then to get these feet out you got to unscrew this which was so annoying and then put that back and put it in because with the gopro you really needed that gopro uh media mod to get any good audio out of that thing that the audio sucked and then to take out the battery or to get the sd card you would have to take off the media mod entirely and that media mod was locked in because the feet went through the bottom you know it's a it's a cool design and all that but like to get it's not practical to get out everything you got to take off the media mod kit which means you have to take it off the whatever mount you have and then unscrew this every single time and if that battery is dying several times throughout the day you know changing out the battery can be a hassle if you if you're somebody who fills up sd cards and you got to put in a new one or you keep them separate or anything like that that that's going to be a hassle i, I get it got really frustrating really quick i am going to buy an updated case for this because even though this case is super easy so you don't have to flip over anything it's just you loose flip the lever over right and it kind of opens it up enough for you to slide the camera in and then you just lock it in place and it won't come out and then from there i do have access to the port i just took off the little door for the uh usb-c port that way if i need to plug it into the computer charge it because you can charge the battery by by plugging in the whole camera that's super simple right i don't have to be flipping that thing over uh over and over uh the only thing is to use the microphone you do have to take it out because it does not fit with the case that they give you uh, but again they get they give you this case uh, i got the combo pack everything for like a hundred or less than a hundred dollars more is the case the uh selfie stick three batteries the battery pack to wirelessly charge them or uh, charge them on the go because it's a it's a battery bank as well all that is way better than go going to gopro and then finding out you need and it's just the gopro and a couple of mounts they don't even give you the tripod mount now neither does um dji i don't think because i have this one but it's it's an adapter one and i don't think dji gave me this one i think i had this one from another from a from the kit that i got the uh different mounts that i bought so they don't give you a tripod mount or neither one does but gopro you, you need a media mod kit to connect any external mic so if you record outdoors you really need a mic to get any uh good audio so you need that you need uh extra batteries so the media mod case itself is 85 bucks then you need extra batteries and if you want to charge those batteries the way DJ you do with dji that can get cost effective too because you're going to get you're going to need the something to charge them with like if you have several charge them at the same time extra batteries they sell a battery that is better than their than the battery that they give you so you already at that point they're they're kind of telling you that the battery that it comes with is no good right so they want you to buy their high endurance batteries or whatever they're called and then that that's another cost right when dji gives you all this stuff in the case i like the case a lot but i'm gonna get end up getting one that allows me to open both sides because this one uh the other side is for a mount if you want to mount it vertically for social media but i'd rather have that side open up so there are cases on amazon and different things that allow you to open up both sides and uh are also a little thinner to where you can plug in your mic and not have to take the case off so i'm going to grab one of those 
we'll see how that does now as far as far as their uh their mount system they give you two of these so i have one here that i'm going to use a lot then i have one on a tripod that i'm going to use also and i'm probably going to buy more so i can have different setups for different things this um everything i have is linked in the description if you guys are interested in anything but this is just you you put it around and you can record a uh first person point of view there like me i'm working right so i have this like this and i can record uh work that i'm doing that way you can see what i can see and i'm working there and it's beneficial to you know the people that watch my videos over on my other channel because i don't have to cut or stop grab my phone and record and then say whatever and then you know i can't keep the phone in my hand i need my hands to work so you know this has been a really cool uh you know setup i did buy this separately i bought a kit that came with this a chest mount and a few other things uh, in case you want different mounting options but you know this magnetic uh latch here is amazing you just pu uh, push on the two tabs on either end and it comes off it's magnetic so it does stick you just have to push it down to lock it in with the tabs and you're good to go so that's one of my favorite things is i don't have to take off the case either i know i have it out of the case right now but if you put it back in the case which is super simple and then you you know throw it back on it fits with the case so if I want the case on there, I can have the case on there. Like I said, I'll probably buy a different one, but you know, I wanted to try it out first and that's been fantastic. Uh, that, the battery, the fact that I can use the mics that I want and the mics plug in directly to the USB-C port because on the GoPro, even though you buy the media mod kit or the, the media mod case, it gives you the auxiliary port, which in turn you need to Whatever receiver you use, you need to use a cable. So then you got the receiver on there. You got this cable dangling over there. It just becomes a whole huge setup. And in my in my head, in, in my thinking, I want, especially what I do, I want to not really know that the camera's there. I don't want a big production. I don't want a big setup. I want something that just works. So my go-to if, if i recommend one is gonna be the two that i have actually so an instago 360 insta 360 go i'm still gonna use this for to be a little more inconspicuous because i i don't record inside a lot but when i do i would like to just mount this one to my chest preferably and have it recording you know smaller clips uh, I don't record in, inside too much. They do have an updated version that gives you more storage and more battery. And it gives you a case. Instead of this, this is just like a tripod with a little screen. Uh, now they give you a case that looks like a full pop-up screen like this. Like you see on a GoPro or this action here. Uh, where it makes it look like an action camera. Versus like AirPods. And uh, maybe I'll upgrade eventually. But I need to see what the workflow is with these two. But yeah, this one's still going to be a backup for me for being a little more inconspicuous where it's not like I'm shoving a camera or busting out a big camera when I'm around a lot of people. I can do that. Just focus on what I'm working on and film that way. Now, when I'm on a rooftop or outside vlogging, you know, they, they give you the selfie stick. This one is going to be my go-to. All right. If you guys want a quick rundown, this is the camera here. This is where you would be on you can click that to see how much battery you have you can go here to kind of mess with your settings i have everything on auto so we have auto exposure uh the white balance color i put it on normal it does have d log if you guys are into color grading but if you don't know how to color grade or you are like me and you kind of use like the filters in the editing apps just leave it on normal uh, this is where you would have your field of view. You got standard, which is what I try to keep mine at. I don't like to have that 
wide angle, you have wide and you have ultra wide. If you guys uh, are doing, I don't know, uh, bike riding, anything where you want a big or a lot of your surroundings in there, you got those wide angle options, but I try to keep it as tight as possible because I'm just focusing on whatever's in front of me. So we got that and then that's basically it. Here we have your channel, your audio. I have the noise reduction on, which, which actually does pretty well. I've used this outside. It works fine unless the wind really picks up uh, where it's blowing everything over, you will hear it. So that's why I highly recommend external mics. You can use a wired one or the DJI one is the one that I recommend. Here's our channel. Keep it on stereo, get out of there. Uh, this tells you how much you have left on the memory card. This is your video. You can do photo, which I haven't really gotten into. Photo, video, slow motion, time lapse. And you can pick your resolution. Now I'm trying to keep it, I'm actually probably gonna drop it down to 30, just so it plays nicely with a lot of the apps that I use to edit. You can actually go up to 120. And it goes 2.7 or 1080p. I'm real, I mean, you can honestly get away with 1080p and you'll look fine. I'm real particular that I want all my videos in 4K and that, you know, that option when, you, when you're when uh, you playing it back. So that's what I prefer. It will eat up more memory. If you wanna go into a video, you just click these. And you can see that. I'm using an external mic for that one. That's why it sounds clear. So you can do that and then you just swipe up and down to go to the, to go to the previous video. So that's a work video that I'm working on and you can do it that way. Swipe over to get out of there. So when you're using this, you have a front front screen as well, but this only works up to 30. So right now I have it in 4K 60 if I hit the record button, which is on top going to give me this error. It's going to say uh, high def is only for the back ca uh, back screen and the front screen won't give you a preview. So we can stop recording. So if you go down, if you drop it down to let's say like 30 and you hit record, you're good to go. You can see yourself in frame and that's another reason why I wanted to drop, drop down the frame rate so I can have the option to see myself when I'm in a vlog style uh, shot. Like I said, that's to charge it. You can also uh, remove the files if you have it connected to a computer here. And then this, you just push the button and go up is where your battery is. Your SD card slides right in there in case you guys want to see. Put it like this. I've actually wedged it in between the battery and that, that piece right there. So just be careful, you know, you put it in the right spot and then close it up. Pretty simple. So that's just a quick look. And I also really do like, like some of the features. If you hit the record button, you have to go into settings. I don't know if it's there by default or not, but you have to put, uh, use your last settings or you can actually, I think, tell it what you want it to do when it's off and then you want to record immediately. Because all you have to do is put this one. I always put it on what I last used, the last setting or last uh, mode that I was in. Because, I mean, I'm mostly recording video anyway. But if you just quickly tap it, it starts recording immediately. And it's like, you could see it. It was like a, a couple seconds for it to just start up. And it's already in recording. And I don't have to worry about it. Then I click it. And I do like that it has the option if you want to, um, that you get a little message and it tells you are, it's gonna turn off unless you tap the screen. So if you're recording something and then you need to adjust something or, or you're still gonna record more, you can just tap the screen and it'll keep it awake. If not, it'll go to sleep and turn off. It's perfect for me, right? I'm, I'm, I'm working, I have my job to do first. Uh, so I need to do 
my job in a timely manner, uh, just hitting a button and not worrying about it, not checking it, not doing too much with it is great. And then I can hit it again and it'll automatically turn off and I can just uh, go through and do whatever I need to do, move to the next location, whatever it may be. And I don't, I don't have to worry about this still being on, getting hot, killing the battery, whatever it may be. This is your power button on the side. Turn it on, it turns on instantly. And if you if you have uh, your modes set up, you can click on it and it'll change over to photo and then change over again to video. It goes back and forth. So if you guys do take photos with it, you can use that little button to quick change. Another thing is um, I might, you know, get into ND filters. That's a good way to get some nice cinematic shots because that's what I'm trying to achieve on my channel because uh, this lens come off and they do make um, ND filters that you can just put on. So that's the uh, camera sensor itself. This is the lens and it just it screws on. It's pretty easy. And uh, if you ever break it, so that was always my concern with these things. If you ever break it, you can just buy a new lens and be good to go if it cracks. And that's what I liked about this one too. The Insta360 Go is it was the same concept, right? If I ever broke it, I could I could fix it. So that's a big thing for me, you know, being able to fix uh, these things in case I ever drop it off a roof or something crazy and we can uh, actually fix it. Because uh, these are not the cheapest things in the world. Now, I will recommend if you guys are starting out to really take advantage of your phone. These are the best cameras that you can have and they're in your pocket all the time. Now, I try to stay up to date or I was trying to stay up to date. I'll probably end up skipping now that I have a, an extra camera. Um, but I was buying these uh, for the camera, right? Every year they improve the camera. This still looks better than this for sure. There's no way around it. But this overheats. I'm in Texas. I work outside and that's where I'm recording like 99% of my videos. So the thing with this is it'll, with the phone is it'll overheat and I can't use it for a long time. I've even thrown it in the uh, front of the air conditioning and stuff like that front of the fan and it takes it takes a really long time for this to reset so I might not be able to catch everything at work I've had to apologize in my videos because I'm like my I'm sorry my camera overheated I couldn't record you know the rest of the call or a big chunk in the middle whereas with this I've recorded you know quite long videos you know just set it up and forget it it works really well I don't have to worry about it no overheating the battery lasts forever I've ended the day with more than half the battery and you know I have backup batteries just in case but I might not ever need them unless I'm doing something of a big production or, or whatever it may be but you know I really love this camera um, I still recommend you know something like this if you guys are looking to be inconspicuous because you know when I started my channel I wanted to be you know I didn't want to draw attention to myself so this is the one that I went for they do have an updated version of this one but now I'm, I'm more comfortable, you know, vlogging, talking to this camera, um, having the setup and everything's so simple. The GoPro is, is, is its own thing. It, it did have a little bit better quality, but I prefer functionality over quality. And if the quality is not, you can't tell too much unless you really pixel peep or look at it. It's not really worth the headache of dealing with the media mod case. Um, and then like, you know, this one, it's, it's, it's just, it's so, it's so much simpler. Also, when you plug this in, because uh, the GoPro and this one, they can be used as webcams. But on the GoPro, the thing that I hated a lot was that I ha always had to go into settings. I know they have shortcuts, but even then, like, you still have to go into it and change a lot of these things manually, where uh, the action cam kind of has this, this automatic uh, type of setup, one of those being the webcam. So you can use these as, as webcams, you know, I don't need the, the super wide angle because of the way my office is set up. I really only want it super tight right here. And then the, I already had a webcam that I really enjoyed. So there was no point in me trying to set this up. This just lives in my uh, backpack for when I need it. I can grab it. It's always with me. But if you plug this into the computer, right, you got a USB-C cable and it comes with the cable. 
you plug it in USB-C, it'll actually ask you, are you trying to use this as a webcam or are you trying to get the files off of it? Because there is a mode, it still has to switch over, but you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go into settings, you don't have to look for it. Any of that, you don't have to click all these extra buttons. It will ask you and then you just click on whichever one you need. So if you were using it as a webcam, it will automatically ask you and you just click it and it's set up like that. If you're just trying to get the files off, you click that one and it's, it's ready for you to pull the uh, videos off of it. So you can do it that way. Or you can just pop out the SD card and pop it into your um, computer. But I really like, you know, just grabbing this and plugging it in and then either pulling it off. Or, um, like I said, if you do a podcast, if you do content like this, if you live stream, um, if you just want to, or if you take Zoom calls, because I, I, ever since I became a content creator, I have to take a lot of meetings, uh, Zoom calls with companies, you know, things like that. And if you wanted like an all-in-one, you know, type of deal where you just spend, you know, this was like 400 bucks, you get more out of this than most other cameras or, or whatever like my webcam i like it it's nice but it's only a webcam this can be your webcam this can be your action camera you can film whatever you want with it it's very versatile so you know that's just another another aspect of it just so you guys know and uh you know i think it's really cool so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you got something out of it i will try to record more as i have uh some free time you know lately and uh, we'll talk about the mic setup maybe next because I do really uh, recommend their mics. You know, they go hand in hand, obviously, but this works with my phone. It works for my podcast. I can do a lot with this. I, I really try to use this mic when I'm doing something as simple as simple as like uh, social media content, you know, some quick videos. I use it now with the action camera when I'm setting this up on a tripod and just talking, I can be 10, 15 feet away, whatever it may be. And then I can also use it like this. It plugs into the computer as well. I can talk to the webcam. I can talk on my zoom calls. I can talk on my live stream because I do, you know, podcast as well. So it, it's been very versatile and that's kind of the stuff that I want to bring or made bring to your attention on this channel is all this stuff that can be single purchase, multi-use, uh, I hate wasted money. I hate buying more things than you need to. And I'll be doing this, this kind of content so that you can have a better idea of what you need to start or what you need, you know, what you can upgrade to and not break the bank. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, st I still recommend, you know, starting out with your phone. But if you're looking for an upgrade, these two are my recommendations. Now the uh, Go 2 does have a new version, the Go 3. This is the newest one from DJI, the Action 4. A great purchase in my opinion. And if you're gonna get this, please get the uh, combo pack, which comes with the um, selfie stick, the case, two mounts, um, some extra mounts for different things, I think like for helmets, and the battery pack with three batteries. So you'll be set for a really long time with that. And it's like only like a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit less. Uh, extra or yeah something like that so I'll leave all the details in the description if you guys need anything uh, that I use you know different mounting um, deals anything that I purchase that I think is worth you guys buying it'll be in the description and I'll show you everything that I film with everything that I've picked up along the way that makes my filming process easier because the last thing I want to do is waste time this is not a production I'm trying to record stuff on the go, trying to record at work without, you know, acknowledging that the cat, there's a camera there. There's a, there's a whole setup, anything like that. It's just point and shoot, grab and go, super simple, stupid, simple content. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got uh, something out of it. Hopefully, hopefully it helped you and I will see you on the next one.